Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about VIP access systems for Kickstarter and how to set them up step by step for Shopify. So the first things first is, well, what is a VIP access system? A VIP access system is literally when people visit your landing page, whether through Facebook ads or social media or wherever, after they sign up via email on your landing page, instead of being presented a message about thank you for signing up, instead they get a special offer, a VIP offer. And on this VIP offer, they can either uh, secure their discount, lock in the early bird discount, or B, secure the discount plus an exclusive VIP add-on. VIP add-ons might include things like uh, for board games, maybe it's an expansion, an exclusive expansion only VIPs get. For video games, DLC. Physical products, maybe a battery pack that comes extra, that free, or a personalized name engraving, or upgrading materials from fake leather to leather, or maybe with a wristwatch, you upgrade from a leather strap to a metal band. Uh, there's plenty of things out there. You got to customize it for your particular product in most cases. In any case, so now that we clarified what is the VIP access system, well, why do it? Uh, what are the benefits? So there's two main benefits to the VIP access system. Number one, it helps you locate buyer intent. So when you were to run a VIP system, you're going to find on your Facebook ads that some audiences, well, they're all generating cheap leads. Let's say the hypothetical. They're all, all your audiences are generating cheap leads, but some of your audiences are generating really cheap VIPs now. And now you know that those people are the people that are willing to actually open up their wallets and buy your product uh, in its current state. And so uh, at that point, you can focus your efforts on the audiences that are working and generating cheap VIPs and reduce wasted ad spend by crossing out the ones that aren't working quite as well with VIPs uh, because they're expressing curiosity and interest, but they're not sold to open up their wallet for whichever reason. Number two, the best thing about VIP systems is that it validates if the price is right. Uh, so if people were going to put a dollar down on this page, you're also presenting the price. So you're saying, you're going to lock in the discount for the early bird off the MSRP price of like, you know, $150. You're going to get 40% off that and we're going to lock it in for you in exchange for $1. Um, so if that person's only going to put down that $1, if that they're comfortable with the final price, like, and so like 90 bucks, you know, 40% off of 150. Uh, and if that price isn't right, uh, they're not going to reserve. And so um, you can use this VIP system to A-B test the price that you're going to present on final Kickstarter and beyond into retail and e-commerce. So uh, you can, uh, you know, step it down. Uh, you start at the top, the, the highest price you think you can go, and then you step it down slowly over time. Um, and then uh, you, can, you can swap it back uh, when you found the sweet spot that balances the, the, uh, the cost and profitability. Uh, so now that we've clarified what it is, wh uh, what are the benefits, uh, let's get straight into step-by-step -step on how to execute this uh, Shopify VIP access system. The first step you got to do is go to your Shopify homepage dashboard. Okay, so uh, in the bottom left corner, we're going to edit the checkout settings. So press settings in the bottom left corner, go to checkout on the left menu. Uh, now, you're going to see a couple things here that you need to change. Let's simplify this checkout process. They only need, you only need their email. We don't need to show a link to download the Shopify app. And then we want to make sure that they're, it's by default, marketing is opt-in. Uh, it's pre-selected. Now, the rest of this is uh, pretty all right. Uh, you might want to set to automatically fulfill the line orders, but uh, that, that's all good. So we press save. We're done here. And then close out by pressing X in the top right. Okay, the next step that we need to do is setting up a Shopify VIP page and a thank you page. Okay, so to create these pages in Shopify, go on the left where it says online store, 
and then press Pages. Press Add Page in the top right, and then uh, we're going to call this, you know, uh, VIP Special Offer. And then in my Shopify theme, you'll have access to all these different page templates. Uh, depending upon what kind of offer you want to do, if you want to do an exclusive add-on or just a discount, or if you're doing a D&D product, for instance, and you want to do a Patreon, do the subscription. Uh, in this case, for this client, we're doing an add-on. Uh, so I'm going to press Save. Then go back, and then let's add another page. We're going to call this a Thank You uh, 2, because this is, I already created one. All right, so, and then we're going to set this template to the VIP Thank You template. Uh, press Save. And back out of there. Okay, so the next step is to customize those pages, of course. So go to your online store, press the Customize button here next to your theme. Uh, in the top middle, you'll see this drop down where it says Home Page. Click that, press Pages, and then you can scroll down and you'll find uh, where it, see, it says Assigned to Two Pages. Uh, you know, uh, click on the VIP add on, and now you'll find this page, right? Okay, so let's start customizing it. On the left, you'll see the Hero Banner section. Let's click that, edit that. And uh, let's add in an image. OK, and then there's this image. OK, press back. We're going to go into the heading. Now this product name is called uh, Bella Flame. And now it's uh, Get Exclusive. Instead, this one is going to be an extra. Level pack boil on covers when you reserve today. So uh, the next step, of course, let's change the body text. Uh, to receive this offer, simply place one dollar deposit, and you'll be locked in to receive the. We want to change the button label to um, reserve Bella Flame now. The product name. All right. So we can save this for now. We're done. And then we go into pages. Now we want to modify the thank you page. Once again, let's set up an image. Let's just take this one real quick. Uh, I want to change the background color and invert the text. It should be good there. OK. And then once again, let's uh, different background color on these. All right. so. Um, heading Bella Flame. And then, so for this button here, we're going to insert the Facebook group. And uh, I don't have this available right now for this video, so I'm not going to do that. But you put that under the button link there. Uh, and then finally, there's an image collage down here. And so let's set up some and collage of images temporarily, just for example purposes. OK, and save that. OK, an important part at this point, though, if you're not using Shopify or my website builder, you're going to need to insert a pixel, uh, the Facebook pixel, on both the thank you page and the VIP page, the special offer page. The special offer page should have a lead event. And then the thank you page, you can see here we have a purchase event attached. Uh, and so this is going to tell Facebook ads, you know, hey, that these people purchased or they signed up. Uh, so this is vital for your ads to work. Make sure you do it. Um, I have another video on my YouTube channel that shows how to set up the Facebook pixel using the script uh, for any website builder. So if you're not using my Shopify theme, feel free to check that out. I'll put a link in the description of this video. So, OK, the next step is now that we have these pages created is to create a VIP product. So let's go to products here on the Shopify dashboard. Press add product. We're going to call this uh, the product name Vela Flame Reservation. And then let's add a, a photo here. Let's uh, just, uh, pick any old photo. Um, this one, OK? Open. 
uh, the price. Let's set it to one dollar to start. If our results are great later on, we're going to raise that to maybe uh, five dollars, but no more than five to ten percent of the total product price. So if this is a hundred dollar product, we probably don't want to raise it above five dollars. Um, and if it's like a fifty dollar product, I probably wouldn't raise it above one or two bucks. Um, so now this is all set up here. We change price, no quantity. It's not a physical product uh, and uh, we're good to go. We're not charging tax either, save. Okay, now the product is there and set up. Now we gotta uh, add the VIP product to the VIP page. So let's go back into the customizer. So we go to themes under online store and customize. Go back to the VIP page, and then we go back to the button. So now we're gonna start inserting the, uh, the product. So we insert the product here where it says automatically add product to cart after clicking the button. And then we're gonna make sure this is check mark where it says redirect straight to checkout. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna save this. And then when people click the button here, it goes straight to checkout. Okay. And um, so the next step after that would be uh, once they purchase, they need to get to the thank you page. So let's program that in. Press exit to get out of there. Now we want to go back to the checkout settings to, to do the redirect. So press settings in the bottom left of the Shopify dashboard. Go back to checkout on the left here and scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see here where it says order status page and additional scripts. We want to insert an additional script here. So if you go into my funnel setup guide, uh, this would be included with your, your all Kickstarter resources bundle. Um, now you'll see here at the very bottom, uh, or if you purchase the Shopify theme, you'll get this too. You'll see here at the very bottom uh, under VIP reservation setup, you'll find number one, the walkthrough video that you're watching here and here. Uh, but uh, redirect purchase to thank you page. Okay, so there's this little script here. I need you to copy this and then paste it in where we were before. Uh, here, yes. Okay. So now this is under additional scripts, but there's, we're not done yet. We need to change this URL here where it says your website.com. Uh, make sure you leave these quotes intact, right? But we're gonna put the new thank you page in there. So let's go back to online store, go pages, go to the thank you page, press view page. Uh, the view page button is here on the right. Sorry, going pretty fast here, but um. Then you grab the URL along the top here, the URL link, and then we're going to post that in right there in between those quotes. Like I said, make sure these quotes are intact. Everything here is intact. Okay, now press save. Okay, so now when somebody purchases the VIP access, they're going to be redirected to that thank you page where they can either uh, follow on Kickstarter, or you can tell them to join your Facebook group or Discord server, whichever have you. So there's one uh, last piece to this pie, and that's the VIP welcome email. So you need to actually like, you know, uh, give them confirmation that they purchased the VIP access and not just, you know, getting a receipt, but also like a personalized message from you. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go over to marketing here on the Shopify dashboard, go to automations, and then press create automation, this uh, little black button in the top right. Press create automation, then press create custom automation at the very top right once again. Okay, so the first trigger that we need is uh, order created. So when an order is created on Shopify, then we want to press this blue button, I'm sorry, the plus button, then do an action. And uh, we want to add a customer tag and we want to tag them with VIP, okay? Then press the blue plus again. We want to take another action and now we want to 
press email here and send them a marketing email. Okay. Then uh, press select template because there is no template. Now, granted that you previously set up a welcome email for your non VIPs, uh, you can just press uh, recent emails here on the bottom left under custom recent emails, uh, and then just load up your, your previous email that you did. Uh, and this will fast track you into the layout you previously had. Okay, so the next thing to do is to set up these emails. So you're going to see here in the funnel setup guide, the next step is uh, Shopify emails. And this is where it shows how to do, you know, the regular non VIP emails. And then it gets into the VIP welcome email setup. So uh, we're already, you know, past that part. Then the email templates you see near the end here says draft your e email using the email templates provided here. Click that and that's going to take you to the email templates where you'll find the purchase receipt. So the subject will be this. This is the, the template anyway. Um, so let's change the subject. Important Bella Flame VIP info. And then once again, uh, you'll go into here and copy the body text over. Now I already have it customized here. You can see that it's the same template. Uh, and then, you know, uh, the button says join the Bella Flame Facebook community. Uh, you can also, if you prefer, you can ask them to follow on Kickstarter at this point. It's up to you. Uh, slide in the image, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this is all set and ready to go. Uh, save this. And then turn on the workflow. Okay, uh, now that your VIP system is completely set up. Uh, oh, yeah, let's uh, edit this real quick. In the top, let's call this VIP welcome email. Now we can turn it on. Okay, so now that we have that all set up, the one last thing you'll probably want to know how to do is create a VIP email segment so you can blast them special emails and stuff through an automation. Like, for instance, when you're going live, uh, you want to send them all a special email, not relying upon uh, when they signed up. So, um, <clears throat> to do that, we're going to go under Customers and then uh, Segments. And then create segments, button, black button top right here. And then uh, press filter. So uh, we're going to do um, customer tags, contains VIP. Oh, yeah. VIP. And then uh, apply filter, and then save the segment. Now, while there is no uh, people VIPs currently, so this will be empty. Uh, in the future, though, this will populate with the actual customers. And then when you uh, try to send an email, create a campaign here. Um, it will, uh, you can target them specifically in the uh, address field. Okay, well, in any case, that's all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop and leave a comment at, below, and I'll try to answer as fast as I can. Also, I'd love to help you move your project along. If you visit my website, prelaunch.marketing, uh, there's a contact form. There's tons of free uh, educational articles, walkthrough videos, templates. Uh, I also have templates for sale. Um, there's pretty much everything there. I'd love to help you. Uh, I'll catch you later. Take care. Have a wonderful day.